Push Olivia! Ah! Congratulations, here's a brand new baby boy. He is gonna look so good on that red carpet. Sebastian and Olivia, please! I need a picture of your baby! Darling, quick! Let's get to our limo so we can have some privacy. Ah, uh, come on, man! Just one more picture! It's Sebastian and Olivia! Look, they have their baby! Oh my gosh! Show us the baby! Sebastian, our baby already has fans. Of course he does. He was born famous. No, I need that picture! It's gonna be worth a million dollars! Ugh, I'm gonna get that picture one way or another! Oh no, we're being followed again! We need to get away from them, fast! You must do something! I'm trying! Hold on! Ah! Darling, are you okay? Yeah, it seems as though we're all fine, thank goodness. Let me see the famous baby! Oh, a car crash too! This is a gold mine! That is enough! Hey, what the heck? What are you doing? protecting my family. Stop it! Just leave us alone! We just had a baby! Is that the cops? Yes. And you just attacked a celebrity! Uh, ugh, forget it! You'll pay for this! <laughs> Sebastian, Olivia, you're safe now! <sighs> Thank you, officer. You should never leave without security. Come with me, please. We'll get you home to your mansion. I can't believe this. All of this because we had a baby? He's gonna grow up famous, love. We have to get used to it. This baby is growing up so fast. I know. What should we name him? Hmm. Let's call him Owen. Before we know it, he'll be gaining fame on his own. Now, Owen, you shouldn't go to this birthday party. Why not, Mom? You'll be the only famous person there. I don't care. I want normal friends at school. Ugh, this again? Fine. But I do not approve of this. Being famous is cool, but I need to make some more friends. I feel like I don't know anybody, you know? I understand you want friends, but you are a celebrity! Does that matter? Of course it does. You're not like normal people. I could send you to the rich kid retreat summer camp. You can meet other rich kids there. Yeah, sure, but then I can't hang out with them all year, you know? <sighs> Fine. Okay, honey, have fun! I'll have security put up a perimeter around the neighborhood, so you'll be very safe. Thanks, Mom. This is pretty exciting. I've never been to just a normal birthday party before. Hey, happy birthday, Ian. Wow, Owen, you made it. Did you bring me a present? Well, you said no presents, so I didn't bring any. Yeah, I did say that, but I thought you, the famous rich kid, would bring presents. I don't get it. No one else brought presents. Obviously, I wanted a present. Uh, okay, man, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't have one. Are you kidding me? Why'd you even come then? At least take a selfie with me and promote my YouTube channel so I can be famous too. What? No, I'm not doing that. Then what's the point of having you at my party if I can't get presents and you won't help me with my YouTube channel? I just thought you wanted to be my friend, dude. Oh, yeah, right. I'm sure. What a jerk. Everyone, Owen's a cheap jerk. Oh, boo, Owen. What a jerk. Yeah, get out of my party. Unless you come back, you are the present. You're all just terrible. I'm sorry your friends were such jerks, honey. Maybe this trip to the islands will cheer you right up. This trip isn't for me, Mom. I know, but I have to go and do an interview for my new movie. Now, come on, let's not be late. I mean, I'm always happy to travel with you, but I just want real friends, you know? Honey, you probably won't make real friends for a while. This isn't fair. People don't see me like they see each other. They expect me to always give them stuff or help them get famous. It's frustrating. I like being famous, but no one wants to really be my friend. Trust me, I know. But that's the price of being famous. It's the price you pay. Well, I didn't really have a choice, did I? Hey, you're in a private jet now flying to an island, and that kid is probably stuffing his face with a gross birthday cake. I think I would rather have your life. Yeah, I mean, maybe you're right. What's going on? We got a major problem. We have to turn back now or we're going to crash. Get us back now, quick. I'm trying. The plane is dropping. Hold on tight. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad that we're all okay, and the pilot made it, too. He is going to be in so much trouble for crashing this plane. Your father will be livid. Why would he be mad? This was his favorite plane, and some poor crashed it. Well, we're all safe. That's what matters. There are tons of people from the press here. This is going to be great for us. I must take some pictures. Why? It's been a long day. I want to get home. 
The day has just started. We're going to have to do some interviews and take pictures. This is so much better than doing that interview for a movie. So we like it when bad things happen to us? No, of course not. We just want attention, that's all. Seems kind of like a waste of time for everyone. You'll understand when you grow up. I don't want to do this, Mom. I don't want to talk to anybody. I was just in a plane crash. Ah, oh, man. I just need a break from all that attention and really need to process what just happened. You think you can just hang out in this park when I'm here, man? You don't own the park, Kyle. Shut up! I'm so much cooler than you! You should just go home, Dylan. No one thinks you're cool. Hey, dude, why don't you just leave this kid alone? Oh my gosh, it's you, Owen! Dude, I'm a huge fan of you and your family. I follow you on YouTube. I see all your movies. Yeah, well, what you're doing right now is not cool, dude. Why don't you apologize to this kid? Or I'm gonna tell everyone what a jerk you are. You are a jerk, Kyle. You always treat me like this. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. I didn't think Owen wouldn't think this was cool. I mean, I just assumed making fun of you was fine. Well, I think being nice to people is cool. I think you should leave, like now. Oh, yeah, sorry again, dude. Thanks for doing that, man. Oh, look, I know you're like really famous and stuff and, and you don't care about other people. You really didn't have to do that. Oh, that's not true at all, man. Even though I'm famous, I know what it feels like to be alone a lot, too. Really? Huh, that's funny. I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. People just seem to think I'm easy to make fun of. I don't have a lot of friends either, man. Maybe we should hang out. We can be friends. Yeah, man. That would be kind of cool. Let's go to the arcade in town. It's actually kind of fun. I am furious with you for not doing the press conference or taking any interviews about the plane crash. I don't want to talk to those people. We are famous because we get people's attention. Don't you understand that? We're in a plane crash. I think that was enough attention for people. <laughs> oh, honey, that's ridiculous. I don't care. I met a friend today and I was really happy about that. A friend? How lovely. What movie are his parents in? None. What? His dad's a plumber and his mom's a teacher. See? Oh, this is just great. We tried to let you hang out with normal kids and look at what happened. To be fair, we wouldn't have ever been on that plane together if you hadn't been so sad about that party. Ah, oh, Dylan seems like a cool person. He's the first friend that I've met. I want you guys to meet him. Absolutely not. I agree. Going forward, if you go to that gross public school, you go there with a full security team. No, you got to be kidding me. And you are only to hang out with other famous rich people. It's not fair. It's for your own good. No, it's not. You're not going to stop me from having friends. Dude, this is crazy. You rented this whole place out? Yeah, that's one of the cool parts about being famous. Oh, I bet there's actually a ton of them. I'm so glad I finally got a friend I can trust, man. Yeah, of course. I mean, it sucks that your parents don't want us to hang out, though. It's fine. My security guard was kind of cool about it. He knows that I just want to have some friends and be a normal kid, so... Uh, do you hear that? Is that a helicopter? Oh, no. Owen, you are in big trouble! What, Dad? Don't what, Dad, me! Your security guard told me you've been hanging out with this loser kid when I told you not to! I'm, uh, I'm just Owen's friend. He's pretending to be your friend so he can get famous. I know what he's up to. Dylan's different, Dad. I don't care. You're coming home with me. What about Dylan? He's got a whole carnival to himself. He'll be fine. <sighs> Sorry, man. Oh, it's okay. Uh, see you, Owen. Dad, you can't just control everything in my life. I most certainly can. You're young and you don't understand what it's really like to be famous. I know, I can use my fame for good. I got Kyle to stop making fun of Dylan. So what? Now you listen to me. Everyone wants something from you. You're gonna have to understand that. Unless other people are rich, they will never be your friend because they'll always have something to gain from you. It's not true, Dad. Not everybody's bad. I don't care. You're gonna learn soon enough. What do you mean? You're going to a famous kid boarding school so you can be around other people like yourself and know what you're going through. No, Dad, please. And I'm taking away your old cell phone and replacing it with one that blocks calls from anyone not famous. No more contacting your stupid basic friend. Is that even a thing? I made it a thing. You're terrible, Dad. Why? You'll thank me someday. No, I won't. Whatever. Get packing. You leave in an hour. I can't believe I've been away from home for so long. It's been six years. Just another two years and I can graduate and move on with my life. 
At least my movie career has taken off, though. That's been good. Owen, I saw you went at the red carpet event last night. Why not? I was studying. Studying? <laughs> wow, you really aren't getting this, are you? What do you mean, Milton? We're rich and famous. School is for poor people. We just need to go to events, have everyone think we're cool, and like our social media posts. That just sounds stupid, man. Stupid? Do you not like being famous? I like being famous, but I want more out of life than just trying to get people's attention who don't really care about me. You know what? You really suck. You shouldn't even have your movie career. I'm a much better actor and a way better dancer. Watch this. Ha! Ha! See? My TikTok is gonna blow up from my sweet dancing skills. Well, your dancing skills are terrible, man. And I've always practiced acting. I actually really enjoy it what I want to do. Yeah, well, luckily, my parents are billionaires, so I don't need to enjoy anything. I have so much money. Good for you, man. I'm rich, too. So is everyone else here. Well, everyone else here knows you're so lame. I don't care what any of you guys think. Oh my gosh, whatever, loser. See you at the party tonight. These kids suck. I miss my real friend. Yo, what's going on here, man? Yeah, uh, you haven't heard? Skill is shutting down. What? Yeah. Turns out the principal was stealing all our parents' money and got caught, so we all have to leave. Oh, that's great. Great? No, it's terrible. I gotta go back to live with my family, and my dad has a limit of only one Lamborghini and one Tesla per person in our home. What am I supposed to do? Drive the same Tesla every day? Some people don't even have a Tesla, man. You know what? This is why no one likes you, Owen. I'm glad we won't see you ever again. Yeah, man, have fun with your one Tesla. Oh, shut up! Oh, gosh, I can't wait to go home. I haven't been back here since I was 10 years old. Feels good to be back. There's our star. Welcome home, son. Thanks, Dad. I know it was tough for you to go to that school, but look at where it's gotten you. You've been in three movies this year alone. Yeah, I'm happy about my career, but honestly, I missed home and my friend. Please, not this again, Owen. Don't upset your father. Owen, you are a famous celebrity. I know you understand what that means now. Yeah, sure, Dad. Since there are no other boarding schools or private schools close by, I want to just go to the public school. Ugh, fine. You can go to the normal school, but I'm going to make sure it's filled with security so that you'll be safe. I don't think you need to do that. Oh, yes, we do. And if I start hearing you're not acting like a true celebrity, there will be a problem. Understand? Sure. Okay, then. Good. We've got a deal. It feels so good to be back in town. I just want to have a normal day. Is that... Oh, no. Owen! Owen, over here! Uh, here goes nothing. Owen! Wow, so the rumors really are true. Tell me, how great is it to be back here in town? It's good to be back. I just want to go to school like everybody else. We love Owen. He's so cool. Owen is the best. I need a picture now. Owen, clearly the crowd absolutely loves you. Everyone's happy to have you here. Yeah, thanks, everyone. So tell me, what's the next big thing for Owen, huh? I need the exclusive scoop. Well, actually, I need to get to class. So if you wouldn't mind, I've got to go. Sure thing! We'll do another interview at lunchtime! Yay, Owen! Yeah! Oh my gosh! It's Dylan! I didn't know Dylan went to this school! Yo, what's up, bro? I'm Caleb! Cool, man. Nice to meet you. Uh, I was just headed to see my friend. Ja, I'm pretty much, like, the most popular person here. So, like, figure we should introduce ourselves since you're famous and all, and, like, I'm kind of famous, you know? Cool, man. Uh, that sounds great, but I just want to catch up with my friend Dylan. I haven't seen him in years. Look, dude, that guy sucks. You can't hang out with him. If you want to hang out with cool people, let me know. Uh, yeah, sure. Like, I'm around pretty much whenever you need me, you know? We should hang out, vibe, whatever, man. Yeah, look, dude, I gotta go. Uh, okay, whatever. Man, where'd he go? Man, I really hope I can catch up with Dylan. I didn't see him at all today. The school's pretty big, though, so maybe I'll see him tomorrow. Dude, get it through your thick head. I told you to leave me alone. Nah, dude. Don't act like you're friends with Owen, okay? I'm gonna be friends with him, and then I'm gonna be famous, okay? You got it? What was that, Caleb? Oh, Owen. Haha, <laughs> yeah, dude. I was just rehearsing some lines for a play I'm doing. Right, Dylan? No. I'm gonna be an actor, man, just like you. Why don't you just leave, okay? Ja, okay, cool, yeah, I'll catch up later, yep. Wow, so you actually came back, huh? 
Yeah, man, I'm so glad to be back. You couldn't have just called or texted me at all? Dude, my dad made me have some stupid phone that I couldn't contact people with. And your number was saved in my old phone. He wouldn't give it back. No, oh, man, I felt like you ditched me. I mean, you were my only friend and then you just disappeared. I didn't mean to, man. It was all my stupid dad. Well, looks like now you're even more rich and famous than before, so I'm sure it was worth it, right? Not really, man. That school was awful. I hated it. I didn't make any friends. Well, it's pretty much the same thing for me. It's been over the past six years. Everyone thinks I'm a freak and everyone hates me. Well, why don't we catch up, man? Let's go do something cool. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, why not? Dude, this is awesome. You rented out a whole stadium just so we could play video games? Yeah, man. Being famous definitely has some pros to it, that's for sure. And thanks for doing this, you know? You didn't have to hang out with me. I know people at school say I'm a freak. I want to hang out with you, man. You're my friend. Well, thanks. You know, I'm actually glad we're friends again. Yeah, same, dude. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. I have to go to a movie premiere tonight. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just head home, but I'll talk to you later. No, nah, dude. Why don't you come? It's pretty cool. What? Like, go to the premiere? Yeah, the premiere. I have an extra ticket. You can come if you want. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Sweet, dude. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. Whoa, how cool is this? Not too bad, right? What do you mean, not too bad? This is a whole red carpet. Well, yeah, man. I've been doing this stuff my whole life, though, so you kind of get used to it. Yeah, I want to go to the red carpet event, too. Oh, sorry, Caleb. You can't come into the movie. I'm only allowed one plus one. This is all your fault, Dylan, you freak. Oh, great. Here we go again. Dude, you're definitely not making me want to hang out with you. Well, I don't want to hang out with you anyway. Your movies are terrible. Okay. Hey, security. Oh, you guys are such jerks. Hey, don't let that guy bring you down, man. You know what? Hey, do you want to walk down the red carpet? Uh, yeah, sure. Owen, you're the man, man. Whoa, Dylan. That's his best friend, Dylan, over there. Look, hey, Dylan. What? I can't believe it. People actually know who I am? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? All right, let's go see this movie now. Owen! What's up, Dad? I know you didn't listen to me about your little nobody poor friend. He's not poor. Dylan's my only friend in the world, Dad. This is nonsense. I thought you were getting along with the other famous kids from school. No, I don't get along with them because they're all pretending to be something they're not. You're famous, Owen. You don't have real friends. You have your family and your fans. That's it. Well, most of the time, I don't even have my family. You guys are gone all the time. Yeah, well, that's the price you pay for being famous. I'm busy. You're wrong about Dylan, Dad. You should be open to hanging out with different people. You know I'm never wrong. So why would I lie like that? You know what? I'm just disappointed with you, Owen. Yeah, well, I'm disappointed in you too, Dad. Hmm, man, I wonder where Dylan is. I haven't seen him all morning. Oh, cool, he's right there. Wait, what the heck is Milton doing here? Yeah, man, it was so cool that you were at the red carpet event last night. Yeah, I uh, never thought I'd be able to go to something like that. Milton? Oh, Owen, oh, Saul, dude. What's going on? Why are you here? Oh my gosh, it's so funny. So my dad ended up spending most of our money, so we couldn't afford the rich and famous school anymore. I thought, well, since this is the only school with another famous person I know, I had to go here. Yeah, Milton was saying that I could probably fit in pretty well with all your famous friends and stuff, right? Milton, you were terrible to me at school, man. Dylan, you wouldn't want to hang out with them either, trust me. I wasn't terrible to you. I was just messing with you. Oh, come on, Owen. You know I think you're so cool. Yeah, I don't believe you for a second. Dylan, we're going to be late for class. We should go. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, see you around, Milton. Stupid Owen. I should be the rich and famous one at this school, and I'm going to make sure I am as soon as I destroy Owen. Owen, I heard that your old classmate Milton's in town now, living with his grandmother. Yeah, that guy was kind of a jerk to me, so I didn't really talk to him much. Why not? Milton is exactly the type of person you should be hanging out with. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not. I know his father is a very wealthy businessman. I thought his dad was broke now. He is, compared to us. Well, either way, he knows what it's like to be in our world. He's much better than that stupid little friend you hang out with. What's his name? Idiot guy or whatever? I'm sick of you trying to tell me how to live my life, Dad. 
I'll be friends with whoever I want. We'll see about that. I know you're going to your new movie shoot tomorrow, and I want you to bring Milton with you. No way, it's not happening. I am your father, and you live under my roof. If you don't, I'll pull the plug on that movie, and you won't be in it at all. Gosh, you're the worst. Fine, I'll bring him, but I don't trust this guy. Whatever, I don't trust anyone. Not even your own grandmother. Now just do it. Well, today I got a ton of filming to get done, but you guys can enjoy the studio. Thanks, Owen. Dude, this is so cool. Yo, this is sick. Is there any food here? Like, you know, waiters and stuff like that? No, the food table's just over there. I'll be back later. Just don't do anything stupid, Milton, okay? <laughs> Whatever. Don't you think it's kind of lame that we aren't in the movie? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I'm not an actor, so I'd probably be terrible at it. You need to have more confidence in yourself, Dylan. You could really be an actor if you want to be. Really? You think so? Oh yeah, of course. But Owen's never gonna let that happen. I doubt he wants you to be famous. He's so jealous of you. What are you talking about? Owen's my friend. I don't think he really cares either way. He just wants to hang out. Trust me. I know Owen. Owen would tear you down in a second if you tried to get famous. Oh my gosh. Hold on. That's Chet Flenderson over there. I gotta go. Chet! Chet! Hey, Chet! Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Milton's right. Well, I hope not. At least. Dad, you remember Milton and Dylan, right? Yeah, of course I do. Hello, Milton. It's great to see you. Sorry to hear about your father being an idiot and losing all your money. <laughs> but I'm sure he'll be rich again soon. Once you're rich, you're always rich. You know what I mean, sir? Exactly! <laughs> see? See? This kid gets it. Uh, hi, sir. I uh, know you probably don't remember me, but I remember you. You're the one trying to ride the coattails of my son. Dad, that's enough. No. What is it you want, huh? How much money do you need? Here, I've got 10K on me. Is that enough? I don't want your money. Dad, I said that's enough. No, you don't understand, Owen. Dylan has everything to gain from you. I mean, look at him. He's a nobody, unlike the rest of us. Look, man, I just wanted a friend. I don't know why this is so hard. I mean, it's hard to understand, but like, I get it, you know? All right, you know what? This is dumb. What are you still doing here, Dylan? You should leave. <sighs> Gladly. You suck, Dad. Sir. I've been trying to guide your son in the right direction of being famous and rich for a long time, but he just doesn't get it. He's a disappointment. Not a complete disappointment, but close enough. I'm glad he has you around, Milton. Same here. And I gotta say, your house looks like there's a lot of money in it. Of course there is. Are you dumb or something? No, sir. <laughs> Not at all. Dylan, my dad's a jerk. Don't listen to him. I don't believe anything he's saying. Yeah, well, maybe he's right, though. Maybe I'm not good enough to be your friend. It's not true. You're my only friend, Dylan. You're the only person I can trust in this world. How do I know? Milton seems to think differently. All he talks about is his money and how such good friends you two are. Well, that's not true at all. We're not friends. Well, that's not what he says. And Milton's rich like you. I'm just a nobody like your dad said. Dude, it's not the case. I'm telling you. I just want to be your friend. Look, it's been a long night. I'm... I'm just gonna go home. Dylan, please. Whoa, dude, this car is so cool. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> so, I caught your text. Why did you want to hang out with me? Well, I know you had a tough day yesterday, so I thought I'd do something nice for you. Whoa, well, that's really cool. Thanks. Do you want to drive the car? I mean, it's really expensive, and you probably will never be able to drive one like this again. Uh, sure. Where'd you get this thing anyways? Oh, I got it from an old friend. He was selling it because he went broke. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for what happened. Owen's dad was just brutal. Yeah, I know he doesn't like me, but no one never said his dad would just openly hate me. Yeah, famous people just aren't trustworthy. They'd never tell you the truth. Hey, drop me off at this store real quick. I need to use the restroom. Go uh, take the car for a spin. Have some fun. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> yeah, have fun, Dylan. Hello? Yeah, I'd like to report a stolen vehicle. <laughs> Whoa! This car is so fast! Uh oh, this isn't good. I, I wasn't speeding, was I? Get out of the car! Um, I I'm sorry, officer. Was I speeding? You tell me. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I was or not. You were speeding, but you were also stealing! What do you mean? This car was reported stolen from a very rich and famous family, and you're coming with me. No, no, no. See, this is my friend's car. Uh, he was just letting me drive it. Oh, like I've never heard that one before. Now shut up. You're done for.
I want to press full charges on that creep. I want you to send him away to jail for the rest of his sad, pathetic, poor life. No, he doesn't. Oh, yes, I do. Look, Sebastian, love you, man, but you either do or you don't, okay? So what's it gonna be? Well, it's my car. I paid for it with my money. I'm not pressing charges. Ugh, fine. I'll get the paperwork started. I can't believe you. Dad, I know Dylan. This wasn't him. How would he have stolen one of my cars? I don't know. Probably stole the keys out of your pocket. These criminal types always have a way. I know. Dad, you don't get it. Dylan's my friend. I'm done with you insulting him. You know what? If that's what you want to do, let your career get ruined by hanging out with the these freaks. Just don't bring your mother and my name into it. Disgusting. Dude, I didn't steal your car. I didn't even know you had that car. I forgot I had it too, to be honest. I have so many cars. I just don't know what happened. Milton showed up with that car and he said it was his friends or something. I thought it was his. Well, that makes sense. What do you mean? Milton stole the car, man. Did he get out and tell you to drive? Yeah. He, he said he needed to use the bathroom or something. Yeah, exactly, dude. He set you up. Uh, why? I thought he was, like, my friend. I tried to warn everybody about Milton. He's nobody's friend because he only cares about money and himself. So why would he try to frame me? I just don't get it. His dad is broke, dude. He needs money. This was probably all a distraction. Dude, being famous is kind of stressful, huh? Tell me about it, man. Hey, I want you to know that I never doubted you for a second. Oh, thanks, man. That means a lot to me. Oh, no. What is it? I just got a text from my dad. The house was robbed. You're right. This was a distraction. I bet Milton's making serious moves right now. I've got to get home. Uh, I'll try to help out any way I can. Just let me know. Mom, Dad, are you all right? Yes, we're okay, but your father is... I am losing it! We were robbed! I have the best security in the world. How on earth does this even happen? I know. It was Milton. Milton? Your friend? There's no way Milton did this. It was probably your friend Dylan. Dylan didn't steal anything. Milton stole the car and told Dylan it was his. Milton's been playing us since he got here. I, I can't believe it. They always told me poor people do some crazy stuff, but this is ignorant. Like I told you, Dad. You shouldn't judge people. Just because Dylan isn't rich and famous doesn't mean he wanted anything from me. And just because Milton is rich doesn't mean he's a good person. I can't believe I've been so stupid. Is that the right word? Yeah, I honestly couldn't believe it either. We are so sorry, Owen. Hold on, I'm getting a text from Dylan. Did he find all of our stuff? Is he giving it back? Well, what's going on? He says he has a plan. We need to meet him at the airport. I'm going to head down there right now. And I'm coming with you. So, what are you actually trying to say? I knew you were trying to frame me, but I just wish you'd let me in on the whole thing. What are you talking about? I was trying to rob them too, are you kidding? We could have teamed up, we could have been really rich. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I had no idea. I thought you were like, dumb or whatever. I'm smarter than I look. I've got the keys to their private jet, so now we can escape. Oh, sick. You know, I really underestimated you, Dylan. Why don't you go in there and get the plane started? Of course. I'll put on some sick tunes, too. <laughs> Hands up where I can see them. You're under arrest. W what? Wait, no, this is a misunderstanding. You did good, Dylan. Yeah, what are friends for, man? All right, criminal, let's get out of here. No, no, I want the money. This isn't fair. Robert, step on it. We need to get to the hospital right now. And we need to lose the paparazzi. The baby's coming. We don't have time for this. Robert, Stacy, just a picture, please. Robert, drive faster. I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, we made it. Congratulations, you guys. It's a healthy baby boy. What should we name him? I think we should name him Andy. This is the happiest moment of my life. Don't you mean the happiest moments in the world's life? These pictures are going to be worth a fortune. The world's most famous celebrity baby. Robert, tell me, how do you feel exactly right now? How does it feel? Feels like I want some privacy. Get out. Quick, one last picture. Ready or not, here I come. All right, now where would they be? Aha, I found you, Cameron. Oh man, I thought this was a good spot. Well, think again. <laughs> Let's go find Kyle. Do you see him anywhere? Yeah, I do. There he is. <laughs> oh, Andy. Just call me the hide-and-seek champion. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it first. Andy Pendleton is the hide-and-seek champion. Oh no, not again. Andy, I don't want to play with you anymore. You always get chased by these guys. Yeah, they never leave us alone. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. Come on, Cameron. Go hang out somewhere else. Man. Oh, he's so sad. Come on, look at the camera. We need pictures of you crying. You monster. Leave my son alone. Oh my gosh, Stacy Pendleton. Looks as though your son has no friends. Tell us, how does that make you feel? Very angry. No pictures, no comment. Come on, Andy. Let's go home.
Hey guys, thanks so much for coming. Hope you guys have fun. Make sure you eat as many snacks as you can. Oh, there's Cameron and Kyle. Better go say what's up. This party sucks. Yeah, I know. But have you seen Andy? He's walking around thinking he's so cool. People only like him because he's rich and he has celebrity parents. He hasn't even like done anything. He's famous for nothing. But being friends with a celebrity definitely has its perks. Yeah, I'm getting like thousands of followers a day. All we need to do is keep hanging out with him. Then soon we'll be rich and famous. Famous too. He just depends on his parents to do everything for him. What? I thought those guys were my friends. They're just using me? You know what? I'm gonna prove them wrong. I bet you that I can be just as famous as my parents and do it all by myself. Hey, Dad, can we talk? Yeah, sure thing. What's up, kiddo? Did you have fun at your party? Well, yeah, sure. It was great and all, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to know how you and Mom got famous. How we got famous? I'm an action movie star, and your mother's a lifestyle influencer. What are you talking about? You know this. No, but, like, how did you guys get started? I think there's stuff that I want to do, too, and I wanted to know what you think. Come on a second. Hey, hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, how's my favorite agent, huh? Dad, I'm trying to talk to you. No, 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 no. I need you to reschedule that interview. Stacy and I are going out to dinner with Brad Pitts and his wife, Angelina Mole. Yes, yes, I know. Huge celebrities. Dad, please. We were having a conversation. Hold on a second. Look, Andy, I don't have time for this, all right? Take some money and uh, go buy yourself a new Tesla. I don't care. What? Seriously? You're just gonna throw money at me? Whatever. I'm going to my room. Ooh, I hope the new issue of Super Dude is out. Wait, is that Cameron and Kyle? What are they doing? <laughs> Kyle, look at this idiot. He's like 18 years old and he still reads comic books. Yeah, what are you, some kind of big baby? Who even are you guys? We're like big celebrities. Yeah, friends of Andy Pendleton. You probably heard of him. Honestly, why are we talking to this poor loser? You're pathetic and this stupid store is pathetic too. Hey, stop talking to him like that. You need to be nicer to this guy. It's not weird for people to read comic books. I read comics all the time. Yeah, yeah, we totally knew that. Yeah, man, they're just playing around, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you for one second. Why don't you guys get lost and use somebody else for their wealth and fame, not me. What does that mean? It means that you guys suck and we're not friends anymore. Come on, Cameron, let's get out of here. We don't need this loser. Sorry about them. Are you doing okay? Yeah, no, it's fine. Thanks for getting them out of here. They come in and just pick on me all the time. Well, I'll make sure they don't bother you anymore. Hey, wait a second. You're Andy Pendleton, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. I see you come in here all the time. Are you a big comic book fan too? Absolutely. Dude, I would honestly love to just hang out here all day long. You probably have the best job ever. Yeah, it is kind of fun. Say, would you actually want a job here? Wait, really? You'd give me a job? Yeah, my manager said he's going to start looking for someone else. You should fill an application. I'll put in a good word for you. You know what? I'll do it. Tanner, this is him, huh? Yeah, this is Andy Pendleton. He wants a job here. You're a huge celebrity. Why would you want to work at this little comic shop? Well, there's stuff that I want to do too, instead of just being rich and famous because of my parents. You said that we could use the extra help. And plus, he really likes comic books. I think he'd be a great fit for the team. Tanner, who cares? Andy is a huge celebrity. This is going to be great for our store. You've got the job. So it's officially been your first full week. What do you think of the job so far? I love it. I'm having so much fun. And on my breaks, I've been trying my hand at drawing my own comic books. Really? No way. Let me see it. Well, it's my first one. I don't know if the artwork's the best. Are you kidding? This looks so cool. I love it. Really? Yo, hey, is that a new comic? I've never seen it before. Yeah, actually, this is Andy's. He made it himself. Whoa, this is awesome. Hey, do you think I could buy this? Buy it? It's not really for sale. I mean, I was just drawing it for fun. You don't understand. This is amazing. Like, this comic is so different than the usual comics. Hey, hey, what's going on over here? Just so you know, your employee is a prodigy in the making. This comic that he made is amazing. Wait, let me see that. Unauthorized comic sales are not allowed in this store. Yo, it's actually pretty good. The writing is good, too. Andy, if you make more of those, I'm sure we could sell them in the store. That would be so incredible. Maybe this could be a way for me to get famous. Dad, Dad, you'll never guess what happened. Oh, wait, let me guess. Someone wants you to be in another movie. No, that's not it at all. Dad, I made this comic, and the guys at the store thought I should write some more and maybe start selling them. Seriously, Andy, a comic? Yeah, Dad, a comic. What's wrong with that? You should check it out for yourself. Look, Andy, this is great and all, but I need you to come to a fan meet and greet with me tonight. A fan meet and greet? Why do I have to go? Well, according to our agent, the public needs to see you more. You've been hiding for like a whole week now. Yeah, because I've been working. You don't need to 
work. You're a celebrity kid. Sure, I don't need to work, but I'm having fun. Plus, those things are always about just you and mom. You don't really need me there. Andy, you are going to that event, and that's final. <sighs> Whatever. Sure, Dad. I'll go. Excellent. Wear something nice. Make sure your hair doesn't look like a mess. You know what? No matter what my dad says, I am going to make a name for myself. Can I just have one more photo, please? Yeah, yeah, of course. Come on, Andy. Smile. Andy, what's wrong? It looks like you're not having any fun. Because I'm not having fun. Again, these people are all just here for you guys. Andy, you need to stop being such a stick in the mud. Well, if you're not having any fun, then why don't you go talk to all the other celebrity kids? That might not be a bad idea. So, who are you guys? What's your guys' names? I'm Chip Wesley. My dad is Wes Wesley, country music star. And my name's Brian Jones. You know, the Jones family. We're kind of a big deal, you know. Yeah, okay. It's nice to meet you guys. Brian, did you see how many locks our post just got? Yeah, we're going to be even more famous now. <laughs> and what is the deal with the catering at this place, huh? There's no mac and cheese, just salads and sandwiches? It sucks. Don't they know our dietary restrictions? I need soda right now. Hey, you, why don't you go get us a soda or something? Yeah, just standing there looking stupid. <laughs> uh, no thanks. It was nice meeting you guys, I guess. There's no way that I want my life to be like this. Whoa, why are there so many people around the comic book store? Tanner, what's going on? All these people are here to see you, dude. Here to see me? What are you talking about? I don't know, but they all keep asking for your comic book. Wait, seriously? They're here for that? Yo, hey, Andy. Oh, Max, what's up? Why are there so many people here? Well, I told them about your comic. They all really want to see what it's about. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So you're the reason why everyone's here? Well, sort of. I run a big comic blog online, so let's just say people all over the world know about this this already. This is insane. All these people are here to buy my comic. Well, the man at the cell phone emporium is furious at me. This crowd has blocked people from going into his store. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I knew it was a mistake hiring you. A mistake? No, it wasn't. You seemed pretty excited about it before. Yeah, well, now things have changed. If more people keep showing up, all these people in here, it's over capacity. I could get fined. I can't have this in my store. Everyone causing a commotion over some big stupid celebrity. You gotta go. Gotta go? What do you mean I've gotta go? It means you can't work here anymore. You're fired. And Tanner, get rid of these comic books. We're not selling that trash anymore. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Pendleton has been fired from his one and only job. Not only that, but he caused a scene down in a comic book shop, causing the manager to completely shut down the store. Honestly, I don't understand why celebrities try to be normal people. It never works out. And now the news is commenting on this? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Help, please, somebody help me. Shut up, get back here. Is that Tanner's voice? What is he doing here? Stop running, loser. This is private property. Your no porn is allowed. Ugh, leave me alone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay. He's my friend. What? You don't have friends? Yeah, I do. You're the one that doesn't have friends. <gasps> Shut up! So what? Why don't you do another security lap around the property or something? This is my friend Tanner, and he's allowed to be here. Yeah, fine. Whatever. It must be nice to have friends. Sorry about that. My dad just hired him. He's kind of crazy. What are you doing here? I wanted to come by and tell you. I actually ended up quitting. You quit? Why'd you do that? Because that manager's a total jerk, dude. Plus, you are super talented. You don't need to work at that comic book store to be famous. You can do it all on your own. What are you talking about? What if you and I started a comic book business together? I mean, you make the comic books, I'll get the place to sell it. I think it could really work. Honestly, I love that idea. Let's do it. Thank you so much for coming to the launch of the store today. I'll be signing my new comic all day long. We'll get this event started in just a minute. Dude, there are so many people here. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's really great so far. Dude, I know you better than that. What is wrong? I sent out an invite to my dad. He's not here. He's probably off filming some movie or walking a red carpet somewhere. I don't think it's that. I think that he thinks there's better things to do than supporting his own son. Oh, come on, Andy. You can't think like that. He barely talks to me to begin with. Why shouldn't I think like this? And whenever I try to spend time with him, he always just throws money at me. He's just never there. Oh, I'm really sorry, Andy. I'm sure he still loves you. At the end of the day, he is still your dad. Yeah, well, my dad wants me to be something that I'm not. I think it's about time that I started living the way I want to.
All right, I think that's the last box. And now I'm about to go to my new apartment and start my new life. Hey, Andy, what's with all this? Where are you going? I'm moving out. I'm done living your guys' famous life. It's time that I live the way that I want to live. You're going to give up fame and fortune and living in a mansion to go be a comic book writer? Yeah, Dad, because it makes me happy. You've never even thought once to ask me if I was. I just figured you'd be happy. Everyone wants to be famous. I invited you to my comic signing. You didn't even show up. If you really cared, you'd support me. Whatever I wanted to do. Don't leave, all right? Just put those boxes back inside and we'll order some sushi from that famous restaurant you like. No, Dad. I think it's best if I go. I'm going to go live my own life. Everything's going to be okay, Julia. All right. Push. Okay. Ah! Here it is. Congratulations. Another billionaire born. This is amazing. This kid better grow up to be successful or I'm going to be really upset. All right. Everyone give me a billion dollars right now. I thought we bought this hospital. How did anyone know we're here? Just give me the money, man. Oh. Oh. About time, Kobe. What kind of bodyguard are you? You took forever. We need to get out of here. There may be more robbers. Colby, I want to walk from here. You can't do that, Billy. Aw, oh, come on. I don't want anyone at school to know I'm a billionaire. Get back here, Billy. Ugh, oh, thank goodness. I think a bodyguard can be such a pain. I just want people to treat me normally. I just want to fit in. Look, it's this stupid little rich boy. Just leave me alone. I'm just walking to school. Ah, the rich kid wants to fit in. Guess what? Everyone hates you, and you're a loser. Yeah, now give us all your money, rich boy. What? I don't have any. Yeah, right, billionaire. Hand it over. Ugh. Ah! Get back here. Oh, he thinks he's gonna hide. Yeah, he can't hide from us. You better get out of here now. Uh, we got better things to do anyway. Yeah, whatever. Maybe today someone will let me sit with them for lunch. Hey, uh, can I sit here? Ugh, no. You're a billionaire. You can't sit with us. What? Oh, come on. Who cares if I'm a billionaire? I do. Your stupid dad bought my dad's business and fired him. Get out of here, dude. Nobody wants to see you. Okay, jeez. Sorry to bother you. Hey, is there room for one more here? Yeah, sure. You're the billionaire kid? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, you can sit here. But first, can you buy me lunch and let me borrow one of your dad's Teslas? Are you kidding? No. I'm more than just a billionaire. I don't want to be around people who think I'm only cool for my money. Well, fine then, loser. Get the heck out of Whatever, my face. Man, I don't want to hang out with you anyway. I'd rather eat lunch alone than be around people who judge me like that. Uh, hi. Get out of my face! Your stupid dad took my parents' house and bulldozed it down because they missed one rent payment! You suck! Oh, that, that's messed up. I'm so sorry. I don't care! Get out of my face! Oh, I can't believe my parents are such jerks. I don't know why you always care about what those people think. We're rich! We don't need them! You should have gone to private school like I told you to! Ugh, Dad, I don't like those other rich kids. They're jerks! I just want to fit in and have friends. Normal well, friends. Well, good talk, Billy. Time's up. I need to get back to work. I heard you had a tough day, Billy. But you should listen to your father. Neither of you get it. We're living in a fantasy world. I want real experiences in the real world. <sighs> It's great, isn't it? You just have to get used to it. Our money isn't going anywhere. You have to understand how to act around others when you have so much success and power. But I don't want any of that. I just want a good life and a true, honest friendship. Stupid mansions always in my way. Thought loser, crying about being rich again? <laughs> Grow up, dude. Your brother Calvin is right, Billy. You should learn a thing or two from him. Learn what? Well, I heard that you hurt a lot of people, Dad. Kids at school were telling me how awful you treat people in business. Who cares? I'm rich and they're not. Of course they're gonna cry about it, stupid crybabies. They lost. Yeah, Dad, you tell them. This isn't the right way to be. We should be helping people with the money we have. I help people all the time. I give you, Calvin, and your mother money constantly. And I help myself by making more money. Oh, whatever. You guys suck. Takes one and no one, loser. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry. I need to get something to eat. Please, I need this for my dad, but I can't afford it. Some jerk got his job taken away from him, and he can't pay for it either. Get lost. We don't do charity work here. But please. I said beat it. Here, uh, let me pay for it. Uh, really? Wow. Thanks, man. Yeah, no sweat. Hey, uh, hey, wait. Uh, do you need any more money? You think I want your money? What? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I just, most people just want me around because I have money. Look, I work for my money, man. I don't want a handout. I'm sorry for being so harsh. Hey, 
I recognize you from school, don't I? Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Let me guess. You don't want to hang out with me just like everyone else. Trust me, I'm used to it. I don't get why you have such a bad rap. I mean, you never did anything. You know what? Thanks. A lot of people don't see that. They just see me like they see my parents. Do you want to hang out or something? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I just got to drop this off to my dad first. I I'm Tyler, by the way. Thanks, Tyler. I'm Billy. It's finally nice to actually meet you. It's not fair, you're so good. It's probably because you play all the time. Nah, that's just what we call skill. <laughs> Man, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Glad you came out with me. Yeah, dude, this is awesome. So, what's it like being a billionaire anyway? Ugh, it's not everything it's cracked up to be. I struggle with my parents' expectations and everyone telling me how a billionaire is supposed to act. It's a huge pain. Yeah, trust me, I understand family struggles. My dad's been super tough to be around since he lost his job. His whole business, gone. But it's nice to get out of the house and get away every once in a while. Ugh, believe me, I know. No one really gives me the time of day because of my family. Billy, is this kid bothering you? <sighs> Colby, no, he's not. This is just Tyler. Who's this? Uh, one of my dad's friends. I'm his bodyguard. Bodyguard? Ugh, Colby, Leave me alone. Everything's fine. I'm just enjoying a night out with my friend. All right. Look at my eye on you. So don't go far. <sighs> Looks like I gotta go. He's gonna be annoying all night. Sorry about that, man. I'll talk to you later, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'll see you soon. Baby Bird is on his way back to the nest. Uh, Colby, stop it. <sighs> man, what a fun night. My Ferrari is too ugly! Send me a new one for free! Oh, gosh, everyone is poor as an idiot! Hey, Calvin, that's not cool, man. What's your problem with our family, dude? I don't know, I'm just sick how we're treating people. Maybe we should use our money to do good stuff instead of making fun of others and using it just for ourselves. Whatever, who cares? Why do you care about being a good person? That's stupid and it doesn't matter. It's not stupid, you're wrong. The most important thing is relationships and friendships. I have plenty of friends. If I don't like them, I'll just get new ones. I don't appreciate your friends. You don't even value me as your brother. Honestly, because you're kind of a bummer, dude. Ugh, you're the worst, Calvin. Well, look who it is. Mr. Fancy Pants and all his cash. Hand over your money right now, rich boy. We double check too. Your big dumb bodyguard's nowhere to be found. Back off, guys. I'm not giving you anything. Just leave Shut me alone. Shut up, you rich idiot. Give us your money now. Leave him alone, you two. <laughs> Why do you even care about this little rich boy, Tyler? This kid has everything in the world, and he should share it with us. Hey, man, don't judge me, okay? You don't know what my life is like. Just because my parents have money doesn't mean that everything is just perfect. Billy's a good kid, and he doesn't deserve the way you're treating him. You guys suck. Whatever. You two losers can be friends then. Let's go pick on Eugene. He's a nerd. <sighs> Thanks for sticking up for me, man. No one has ever done that, except Colby. He's paid to do it. Oh, well, that's what friends are for, Billy. Come on, let's get going. I cannot believe my ears right now. You're not attending the billionaire ball? Are you kidding me? You need to meet other billionaires your age, Billy. I have plans with my friend Tyler, Dad. I don't want to go to some stupid billionaire ball. You don't have time to hang out with poor people like Tyler. What do you even mean by that? He's not worthy of being your friend. You need to find rich friends. Well, Dad, what if I don't want to hang out with rich people? What if I just want to be normal and fit in? I've let this gone on for too long. Tomorrow, we're bonding together, and I will show you what it's like to be a real billionaire. I don't want to go with you. I don't care. It's time you learn how to act like a billionaire, and what I say goes around here. Now you're waking up tomorrow at 4 a.m. I said 4 a.m., Billy. Dad, what is this place? It's another one of my new businesses. I got this place for a steal because the guy who owned it was a complete idiot. Uh, that seems kind of messed up. Oh, shut up, Billy. Come on. See, look, that's the idiot right there, actually. <laughs> look at his face. You! You're the one who scammed me! No, I didn't. It's not my fault that you're not smarter. <laughs> uh, don't give me that. You lied in those documents. This is a crime. You did this, Billy? What? No, I didn't know. I had nothing to do with this. You suck. You're a liar. You took my dad's business ah! come on tyler let's just get out of here tyler i'm sorry i'm so sorry see i told you this guy's an idiot glad you aren't hanging out with this dumb poor kid anymore i don't believe this you're ruining my life and you're hurting other people too you're hurting my friends this, this is complicated son it isn't when you treat people with respect all right all right calm down let's go buy you some stuff to make you feel better no i don't want any more stuff I just want a normal family, and I want my friend Billy, back. get back here. Oh, man. I gotta explain everything to Tyler. You just gotta understand. What do you want? Tyler, please, just give me a second. I just want to be friends again. I had no idea my dad did that stuff to your dad. 
How could we ever be friends? Your family ruined my family's lives. I know, I'm sorry about what my dad did, but that isn't who I am. I'm not like my family. You're part of that family, so you're just as responsible. I can't control my dad's actions, Tyler. I I'm trying to be a better person. A better person? Really? You think that's possible for you? Yes, I do. I want to be a good friend to you. I want to make things right. Ha ha ha. You can't fix what your family's done, Billy. It's too late. Please, Tyler, just give me a chance to prove uh, that I'm not like them. No, Billy. I was wrong about you. You deserve all the hate you get from people. Okay. That's how you feel. I understand. I'm sorry, Tyler. And then Tyler just slammed the door in my face, Mom. Oh, Billy. Tyler will never understand what it's like to be you. I just don't get it. Why is it so hard to have normal relationships? Well, you're not normal, and you'll never be the same as them. I don't want to be different. I just want to have friends who, who like me for who I am. Well, as punishment for the embarrassment you caused your father, I'm enrolling you into a private school for the wealthy. What? No, Mom, I, I don't want to go to that school. I don't want to be around those other billionaires. They're jerks. I don't care what you want, Billy. It's more important that you start acting the way you're supposed to. Oh, I don't want to be anything like this family. Well, that's too bad because you're a part of this family whether you like it or not. I can't believe I have to go to this stupid school. This place is terrible. Wait, seriously, Billy? I thought this was a joke. Oh, who is this loser? This is my stupid brother. Oh, Calvin, shut up and leave me alone. I didn't want to go to this school anyway. Mom and Dad forced me to. Yeah, because you were acting like an idiot. Get this, Xavier. Billy hangs out with poor people. Oh, what? That's so gross. I know, right? It's like you're going to catch poor. Oh, I think he already did. He smells. Ew. Well, Calvin, real mature. Picking on your own brother. Yeah, whatever. Do you have any idea how it feels for me to have a stupid brother? We have, like, nothing in common. You're going to grow up to be a broke loser like your dumb friend. Hey, back off. I don't have time to deal with you, all you right? You thought you didn't fit in at poor Z school? Well, you don't fit in here at rich kid school either you don't belong here you don't belong anywhere oh you know what i'm not doing this oh, whatever he's right i don't belong here i'm just gonna skip school is that my dad he is the rest of it great did they catch on to you absolutely not dad i uh, do what the heck i told you to come alone it's fine he's just my son don't worry about it i'm just an old friend of your dad's but, but i gotta go but yeah see ya see you later ted why aren't you in school school sucks i'm not going why are you being so sketchy i'm not that was ted an old friend of mine do you honestly think i believe that dad you just gotta stop doing bad stuff like this look what you did to tyler's dad who my friend you scammed him he lost his business and now you own it and you fired him oh right that dumb loser i didn't scam him billy ted Please, just do the right thing for once and give him his job back. Uh, fine. As long as you never talk about this again, this conversation is so boring. Okay, deal. Hey, Tyler. Billy, what are you doing here? Listen, I know you hate me or whatever, but I just wanted to say I got your dad's job back. If he wants it. Why would you do that? Because that's what friends do, man. You're the only person who ever gave me a chance, and I just want us to be friends again. I'm sorry for the way that I acted. I know what your dad does is different from what you do. I don't blame you. I get why you acted that way. I just want to put it behind us. Oh, I think I can do that. Uh, sweet. So, do you want to lose at the arcade again? No way. You're going down this time, Billy. I've been practicing. Yeah, yeah. We'll see about that. My parents don't see me. If they knew I snuck out, I'll be dead. Well, we better not get caught. I just scammed that idiot for a hundred million dollars, and I don't care what he says. Make sure that loser's life is destroyed, and don't let it trace back to us. Got it? Ah! Dad, I, I can't believe what I just heard. You heard nothing, you understand? No, I just can't ignore this. It's wrong, Dad. You're scamming people. This is how the world works. 
Billy. I'm doing what I have to. But you don't have to destroy people's lives in the process. I didn't do anything wrong. People have been doing this for years. And I don't need my own son judging me. Dad, you can't keep doing this. It's not right, and it's tearing our family apart. You're the only one that has a problem with it, Billy. Your mother has no idea, and Calvin actually loves the idea. Don't you think doing this shady business stuff is a bad thing? Enough! I don't want to hear another word about this. You stay out of my business and stop bothering me. Ugh, I can't believe you. I'm not going to be like my dad or my family. I just want to help people, and I know exactly how I'm going to do it. Hi, welcome to the homeless shelter. How can I help you today? Hi, uh, I'm here to drop something off. It's a donation. Oh my gosh, no one's ever donated that much money before. Oh yeah, don't mention it. Hold on, who are you? I have to give you credit for the donation. No one, just, just no one. So where'd you take that money, Billy? It's none of your business, Calvin. You're such a disgrace to the family. The way you act, it's like you're beneath us. No, Calvin. The way everyone in this family treats others with no respect is the real disgrace. You should all feel terrible. I actually feel great. Whatever. Your brother told me exactly what you did. You donated all that money to a homeless shelter? That was your allowance. You were supposed to go buy a new Apple Watch or something. I don't want an Apple Watch. Why does it matter? It's my money, right? You gave it to me in the first place. Our money isn't for those kinds of people. Wait, what? What's going Where on? Where is this bozo? There you are, ugly. You're under arrest. Arrest for what? I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, that's what they all say. All your years of scamming and fraud have finally caught up to you. You're going to jail. Dad, I told you. I told you it would catch up to you if you didn't do the right thing. Hey, kid, shut up and stop gloating. You're not taking me to jail. I don't belong there. I'm a billionaire. Oh, this idiot. Stop right there. Gosh, I hate running. Dad, just stop and face the consequences. Dad. Ugh, after all I've been through, I ended up losing my job again. I can't believe how much your father has ruined my life. Tyler, I I'm so sorry your dad lost his job again. I tried to do everything I could to keep the shop open. But until the investigation is over, it has to remain closed. I understand, Billy. Don't let my dad upset you. It's not your fault. I mean, really, it is your dad's fault. I just wish my dad knew he was doing such terrible things behind the scenes. Unfortunately, there's no way for you to make him see it either. There's nothing you can do, Billy. What's important is you're trying to make things right now. I just wish there was a way for me to give back to everyone my dad has hurt. I know I'll be able to make things right in the future. I just have to find a way. You will, Billy. And we'll figure it out together. I'm not going to let you do this alone. Thanks, Tyler. It means a lot to have your support. That's what friends are for. We'll get through this together. No, Mom! You don't understand! If Dad's going to jail, I should have his money! It's only fair! It's my money too, you know! I'm not just giving it to you! Are you guys kidding? You're both terrible! Dad's going to jail, and all you can think about is yourselves and the money? Oh, look who's talking, Mr. Goody Two-Shoes! You think you're better than us? No, I just want this family to be about more than just money! You're just a disgrace to the family, Billy! Like, it's embarrassing to say that you're my brother! Well, yeah? I'd rather be an embarrassment than be like you. You don't even belong here. You don't deserve any of this. You always fight with dad constantly. You know what, Calvin? For once, you're right. I can't stay here with you guys. I'm out. Billy, wait. You can't just leave like this. Huh. Watch me. Just let him go, Mom. He sucks. I want the yacht. You had five minutes, Warren. Yeah, whatever. Dad, why did you call me here? I didn't think you want to see me after everything that happened. No matter what, Billy, you're still my son. Ugh, I've had some time to think about everything that's happened. It's being stuck in this stupid room they call a cell, and I truly regret what I did. What? Really? Of course. And that's why I've decided to leave you most of my money. What? No, Dad, I don't want the money. I know, and that's exactly why I'm leaving it to you. I'll be out of here soon. I've got a really good lawyer. And when I get out, I want my life to be better. I want to be a better person. Dad, that's great. I'll make things right. I promise. I love you, son, and I'll see you when I get out of jail. Can you believe they don't have bottled water here? I know, Dad, I know. I love you, too. Take care of yourself. I'm going to lose my mind! 
I can't believe you get all the money. It's not fair. I want my share, Billy. Calvin, get over it. I'm not giving you any of my portion. It's just not fair. Dad left you so much money. I need it to maintain my epic lifestyle. Buy yachts, designer clothes and shoes. That's not what dad wanted us to do with the money. Who cares what dad wants? He sucks. He's locked up and the money's ours now. Dad divided the money the way he thought he would be best for each of us. Come on, Billy. We can be like business partners. Continue the family business, you know? Oh, you mean the business that was scamming people, Calvin? I'm not going to continue that. But we could be so rich together. Like, more rich than Dad. Like, we're smarter than Dad. I don't care. You don't deserve any of this money. And I won't help you scam more people to get more money. Well, you're going to regret not sharing the money with me, Billy. Just you wait. Whatever. I'm determined to use this money for good. I'm determined to tell you to shut up. All right. I have an idea on how we can give back to everyone my dad scammed. How are you going to do that? Well, I want to help them get their businesses back. I can invest in their businesses so they can reopen. I mean, that's a good idea, but how are you going to get them to trust you? I mean, it was your dad. I mean, look what happened to us. I'll be honest and open with them. I'll show them that I'm not the same person my dad is. Yeah, you're definitely not the same person as him. It's not going to be easy, but... I guess it's worth a shot. And with the money, they can not only reopen, but probably have better businesses than before. Well, I've got your back, Billy. We'll do this together. Thanks, Tyler. I guess we're officially business partners now. Yeah, never thought I'd be in business with you, but I'm glad we're doing something good. Me too. Well, we can make a real difference in people's lives, man. Let's start on it now. What's our next step? First, let's make a list of all the businesses my dad scammed, and then we'll start reaching out to them one by one. Sounds like a plan to me. Why did you bring us here after what your dad did to us? That guy is terrible. Yeah, he's the worst. What's the big idea? Look, I know what my dad did. I'm truly sorry for it. He left me a large amount of money before he went to jail, and, and I want to make things right. And how do you plan to do that? I want to invest in each of your businesses so you can restart them and rebuild your lives. Oh, really? Well, what's the catch? There's no catch. I just want to help you all get back on your feet. Yeah, right. This is probably just another scam from your pops. That's it. I'm out of here. I can't trust a word you guys are saying. You're all just a bunch of liars. No, no, no. Wait, I I'm serious. I really want to help you guys. Uh, you know what? I believe Billy. He's a good kid, despite everything his dad did. He's gone out of his way to make things right for me and my son. I'd be honored to have you invest in my business, Billy. Oh, really? Thank you. You won't regret it. Diddy, you really trust this guy? 100%. Uh, if you trust him, guess I trust him too. Hey, 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 I'm not going to be the one who misses out on this opportunity. I promise you guys, this will be the best choice you've ever made. All right, my first house. It's not the biggest or the best, but, but it has an office, and it'll be a good place for me to focus on my new business. I don't need anything fancy. Oh, whoa, what the? Oh, this place sucks. Calvin? Billy, you shouldn't have wasted your money on this poor, ugly place. You should have given me the money. Uh, I already told you. I invested it. Yeah, well, I'm almost brick. I need more money. What? You spent a billion dollars already? How's that even possible? Easily. And it's not your business. Just give me the money, Billy. I can't help you, Calvin. I have a legitimate business to run now. Do you have any idea how dumb and boring you sound? I don't care about your stupid business. I need more money. Money. You know what? I don't have time for this. You need to figure things out on your own and quit being such a baby. Money, please. Money, please. No, you're not getting money, Calvin. <laughs> Whatever. This isn't over, Billy. I'll make sure of it. Oh, slow down! Shut up, idiot! Billy, it's so good to see you. Of course, Mom. Uh, what's going on? <sighs> it's Calvin. He's been spending all of his money and trying to steal mine. Oh, really? Well, that's a shame. I'm really worried about him. He's just so different now. Can you please keep an eye on him for me? <sighs> I'll try, but you know Calvin. He's not gonna listen. I know, but I just don't know what to do. It's okay, Mom. Maybe being broke will be good for him. Maybe you're right. I am proud of you, by the way. Really? I thought you'd be upset with me. This whole thing with your dad had me thinking, and <sighs> you were right. This isn't the way it should be. Look what all the money did to your brother. You're going to do great things, Billy, and build your wealth the right way. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Now, tell me about this new business. There's my son, Dahad. I'm so happy you're finally out of prison. 
How was it? It sucked, Kelvin. But it's good to see you. Y'all, good to see you too. So I was thinking, now that you're out, you'll need some more money to get back on your feet, right? Well, I do have some money saved up. I'm not a complete idiot. Yeah, but that's not enough, Dad. You owe me. I mean, I was the one who was always there for you when you needed me. Not Mom. She was always off with her friends. And not Billy, because Billy sucks. What do you mean you were always there for me? You're only there for me for my money. What? That's not true, Dad. I was there for you all the time. Who went golfing with you? Who went to Cabo with you? Really? Then why didn't you come visit me once while I was in prison? Your mother and Billy certainly did, but you were nowhere to be found. I was just busy, Dad, but that's not the point. Look, I need money. You left too much to Billy and not enough to me, and that's not fair. I'm your favorite son. Kelvin, I left the money to Billy because he's different. He wants to make things right. Make things right? What are you even saying about, Dad? We're billionaires. We don't need to make things right. Everything is right when we have money. We can do whatever we want. That is not the kind of life I wanted for you, Calvin. I wanted you better than what I was. Oh, gosh. Please, Dad, spare me the lecture. I fell asleep during college. You know that. This is so stupid. I'm out of here. Have fun walking home from jail, loser. Calvin! Calvin! So, Dad, uh, what do you think of my business? I am so proud of you. All the good that you've done while I was gone, very impressive. Hey, hey! Oh, hey! That's for everything you did to me, you jerk! Hey, hey, break it up! My dad isn't the same person he was when you went to jail. No, it's okay, Billy. I definitely deserve that. I was a complete jerk to this guy. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm gonna make it up to you. Yeah, whatever you say, jerk. Your son Billy here, however, he's a good guy. You could learn from him. You know, that guy's right. Probably could. So tell me, have you seen your brother lately? Oh, uh, actually, I haven't. But I know he's not doing well since he ran out of money. I know most of this is my fault. I made Calvin the way he is. We're forcing the billionaire lifestyle on him. I'm glad you never bought into it, though. Hey, it's okay. There's still time for us to make things right with Calvin. I sure hope so. Your brother definitely needs some help. Oh, look at this place. Poorzy Billy living in a poorzy house. I hate it here. Whatever, I just hope he's not watching me. If he's not gonna share any of the money with me, I'm just gonna take it. I mean, I deserve this money. Oh, there it is. Hi, money, did you miss me? <laughs> of course you did. What? Th the cops? What the heck? No! Come out with your hands up, you idiot. We know you're robbing this house. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'll just get out the back door. What? No one was watching the back door? Do I work with idiots? Ugh, we gotta catch this loser. Come on, let's go! Look, Dad, there he is. Come on, let's go get him. Hey, Siri, get this stupid yacht moving. I didn't quite get that. Oh, you're the worst! Calvin, stop! All this isn't worth the money. You need to listen to your brother. I don't care what you two losers say to me, okay? I'm a billionaire, and I'm never gonna give that up for anything. Money is everything to me. Yeah, and it's everything to me, too. You're under arrest, idiot. Just one more push. Ah! Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. So would you like to hold your son? What? Ew, no. It's going to get my clothes dirty. Sir, he, he's your son. He's a trillionaire now. He must learn to live like one. And since I'm such a busy guy, it's up to you to take care of this kid right now. We're going to be late for our private jet to Fiji. Aren't you even going to name uh, him? No, you can just fill me in later. Sir, wait. I'm just your butler. I don't know how to raise a child, but I guess I'll have to do my best. What am I going to name you? Noah? I like that name. Hey, yo, this airport is trillionaires only. Sir, this baby is a trillionaire. I don't care who he is. Get out of here. The Joneses just left on their how jet. How dare you? How dare you? Shut up and get out of here. Go. Now that it's my job to look out for you, I'll protect you no matter what. Whoa, what the heck? Give us your money, Mr. Jones! I am not Mr. Jones. I'm just his butler. Just hand over the car, then! No, there's a baby inside. You can't. Must be that trillionaire's baby. Would be ashamed if he got kidnapped. Yeah, we could make billions if we return him to his parents. <laughs> no one's taking Noah! Ugh, these criminals will never learn. Our first school talent show. So many people out there watching. Really hope mom and dad are here. Noah, you suck at singing. Talent shows are for people who are actually talented. I have talent, Lucas. I want to show my parents what I can do. Your parents won't show up, Noah. Face it, you're on your own. Next, Next up, up trillionaire, trillionaire Noah, Noah Jones. Jones. All right, you can do this, Noah. Mom and dad aren't here. 
Ah, it's all right, Noah. Just do what you can. He came here to sing. It's time to show them. Ah! Oh, wait, my voice. Ah! Oh, no. Well, that was terrible. Oh, you suck. Get off the stage. Lightheaded. My heart. It's, it's racing. I can't. I can't breathe. I can't. I can't. It's okay, Noah. You just had a little panic attack. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Now everyone's gonna make fun of me even more. I can't stand those rich kids at the private school. Dad, why didn't you come to my talent show today? I was supposed to sing and you guys didn't show up. It was important to me. Did you win? If not, then I suppose I didn't miss anything important at all, did I? You don't get it, do you? It's one a normal family. You care about things that matter to me. Well, you don't have a normal family, Noah. You have a trillionaire family. You have it all. Stop complaining. Look, Noah, I gotta go, okay? I've got a lot of business to take care of. But, uh, you know, good luck with your thing that you had there. Sorry it didn't work out. My first time back here since the talent show. Maybe no one's gonna remember. Well, look who decided to show up. It's the kid who thinks he's something special. Well, guess what? You're not. Yeah, a kid thinks he's better than us because he's a trillionaire. We're all rich here. I am a millionaire. So you're nothing special, Noah. Seriously. It doesn't matter. Money doesn't make me who I am. You're just a freak. That's why your parents hate you. I'm not a freak, and my parents don't hate me. Then why weren't they at the talent show, huh? Or the science fair? It seems like your family's never around for anything you do. Well, they're just busy with their own lives. At least they have lives, unlike you. Oh, that's it. Huh? Hey, stop it. Who's going to make me? You. Take this. Ow! I'll see you in class, Noah. You're just a loser. Man, I don't want to deal with this today. I'm out of here. Man, I never skipped school before. I hope I don't get into too much trouble. Give us your lunch money, loser! I don't have any lunch money. I'm poor. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. He said he doesn't have any money. Who do you think you are? Trevor, I think he's another loser who wants a knuckle sandwich. Picking on someone doesn't make you tough. It makes you a weak loser. I will show you who's weak. Get out! Oh, Wally, look! This idiot's rich! <laughs> Let's take this and get out of here! Sorry about that, man. I tried my best. It's okay. That was actually kind of cool. Those guys pick on everyone. They're the worst. I'm sorry about your money, though. Yeah, don't worry about it. Money comes and goes. It's important to standing up for what's right. Yeah. I I'm Ted, by the way. Maybe we can hang out after school. There you are, you rich little idiot. You can't skip school. And if you do, you can't let me find you talking to poor people. Stop it, Finkelberry. You're the one that's poor. Stop making fun of my friends. Okay, maybe. Shut up. Whatever. Come on, let's go. Let's hang out later, man. Yeah, definitely. You know, you're so lucky I'm such a good person, Noah. I could get you into some serious trouble. Oh, yeah, I'm so lucky, Fartberry. Shut up! Uh, I told you idiot kids never to call me that. Well, you brought me back to school. Good job. All right, I'm going to class now. Gosh, Finkleberry always smells like moldy cheese. Disgusting. There you are. I'm not done with you, Noah. I said I was going to teach you a lesson. Seriously, Lucas, I've had a really long day. You crossed the line, and now you're going to pay. Huh? I said stop it! <laughs> My face! My perfect face! What oh. on earth is going on over here? Noah, explain yourself. Did you just punch this kid? Started it, Finkleberry. I was defending myself. Yeah, you know what? I hate both of you. You're suspended from school. I'll give you 50k to not suspend me right now. Oh, 50k? No! You can't bribe me! Shut up! You two are going to the principal's office. You're both in trouble. I wanted to thank you for earlier, you know, saving me and having your money stolen. There you are, Noah. What are you doing in this poor neighborhood? This is Ted's house, Dad. He's my friend. This is a house? I thought it was a storage shed for lawnmowers or something. Oh, well, look, you're in big trouble, Noah. I heard you got suspended at school. I was defending myself, Dad. He started it. Yeah, I don't care about the details. I do business with his dad, and now I got a mess to clean up because of you. I'm going to lose money. And it's all you, you ever care about is money. You never listen or understand. And you need to understand that trillionaires don't hang out with poor people. You're better than this. Didn't Hank teach you anything? Come on, get in the car. I'm sorry, Ted. Oh, it's okay, Noah. Don't worry about it. So you need to apologize to Lucas right now. Not apologizing. He's a total jerk. Why do you even care? I do business with his father, and it's important to keep that relationship intact. You don't care that his son picks on me and makes my life miserable at school? No, not really. You'll get over it. Now, come on. Ring the doorbell. Get moving. Oh, someone's at the door. <laughs> Let's see who it is. Oh, Mr. Jones, what a surprise. Glad to see you. Come on in. I'm not stepping foot into your tiny house. My son's come here to apologize. I guess he was fighting with your millionaire son, whatever his name is Oh, there. you mean Lucas, of course. I'll fetch the little chap right away. What the heck, man? I don't want to do this. Yeah, well, deal with it, okay? Oh, great. What do you want, idiot? I'm in the middle of playing a video game. 
Just wanted to say, uh, sorry, Lucas, all right? I shouldn't have fought with you at school. You're sorry? That's it? You got me suspended too, loser. I hate you. And one day I'm going to ruin your life and have all your money. Can we hurry this up? Come on, I got stuff to do. You better watch your back, Noah. I'll get you back for this. Just wait and see. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. All right, everything's good, little millionaire kid. Go tell your dad everything's fine. Come on, Noah, let's go. What is your problem, Noah? Come on, seriously, you don't understand? What makes you think it's remotely acceptable to hang out with poor people? I'm allowed to have friends who aren't trillionaires, Dad. I'm sick of this obsession with money. I want real connections, real friends, and a real family. Money will always be your best friend, Noah. Have I taught you nothing? No, you haven't. Now, also, why all of a sudden do you want to just act like you're my dad? Hank's been more of a father figure to me than you've ever been. Is Hank the one who taught you how to fight people and associate with the poor? Did he fill your head with these nonsense lies? Hank's been there for me when you weren't. He cared for me like family. That's it. Hank, get in here. Yes, sir. Hank, you've done a terrible job at raising my son, and I can't look at you. You're fired. Dad, don't do this. Hank is like family to me. Hank is the worst. He smells terrible. He needs to leave now. See yourself out, Hank. I'm sorry, Hank. I didn't mean for this to happen. It's not fair. Noah, you've done nothing wrong. This is just how business works sometimes. Don't blame yourself. Business? Ha! Huh? You don't know the first thing about business. Well, I do know the first thing about caring for people. And you need to learn how to start being more of a father to your son. It's a shame to see someone so rich have such little self-respect. Take care, Noah. Hey, man, you ready to go? Yeah. Dude, this car is sick. Where'd you get it? Thanks, man. Yeah, I just got it the other day. My dad gave it to me. Uh, hop in. Let's go. Thanks for coming to this charity event, Ted. Just a heads up, though. These people can either be really mean or really boring. Yeah, no problem. I got your back. I guess it's all an experience, right? Yeah, you could say that. Man, my parents drag me to these things all the time. It's like a never-ending cycle. At least this one's for charity. Oh, look, Chase, it's the poor boy. Oh, poor people are real. What are you doing here? This event is for millionaires only. Actually, I was invited, Lucas. Yeah, back off, dude. Unless he's more genuine than anyone in this room. Oh, yeah? I'll have you kicked out of here so fast, and I'll have you banned from the yacht club. I can't believe you'd bring a non-millionaire to this party. It's unacceptable. I'm going to call security. Dude, this is a bad idea. I don't want to hang out with these losers anyways. Yeah, you know what, Ted? You're right. Yeah, you better soft. go. Get out of here. Sorry about how they act, Ted. I don't understand what really matters. No, they don't. I don't understand these billionaire people anyways. They live such shallow existences. I mean, being mean to others, it's not worth our time. Right, dude, it's not. I don't like go grab some food and hit the arcade. Yeah, that's definitely more like it. Let's go. Hey, I didn't know you were home already. Glad to finally see you guys. Oh, Noah, we just got off a flight from Dubai. So much shopping to do, you won't believe it. I really miss you guys. Wish you were home more often. Sweetie, I miss you too. It's just that our business and jobs keep us away from most of the time. Well, you're still going to be home tomorrow night, right? Wait, I think, what is it, golf or something, right? We got something, right? Yeah, Dad, it's my birthday dinner, remember? You promised me last week you guys would come. Oh, right. I forget. That happens every year. I thought it was just the other day. Are you guys going to show up? It's going to mean a lot to me. Please. How could we forget? Of course we'll be there, Noah. You have our word. Thanks, guys. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't remember the last time my parents spent my birthday with me. I actually don't know when they ever have, really. Well, whatever. I feel like things are going to change. We're going to be together finally as a family. Well, four hours late or they're not coming. I hope they're okay. Dad? Noah, sorry we couldn't make it to dinner, son. Some unexpected business came up, so uh, we won't be making it tonight. Dad, are you serious on my birthday? I'm always serious, Noah. I'm a trillionaire. Well, where's mom? Uh, I don't know. Italy or something. She had some trip or she had to go on. I don't know. Unbelievable. You guys are the worst parents ever. You know that? Oh, Noah, stop crying. Go buy yourself a new Bentley and call it a day. I gotta go. Man, I can't believe that they keep choosing work over me. Oh, maybe Ted will want to hang out instead. Yeah, sorry. It's just... My dad lost his job a while ago, and we haven't been able to pay for our house. My parents are making me move all the way across Roblox. What? No! Well, that's awful. You're moving away? Yeah, it really sucks. I don't want to leave, but it's like we have no choice. No, oh, Ted, you can't go. My only friend. Look, I appreciate that, man, but we can't pay for this house anymore. It's over. Let me help. How, how much money do you know? We work hard for what we have, and it's not up for you to help my family out. I want to help, Ted. My parents have so much money, and they just spend it on stupid stuff. Not fair you have to go through this. 
No, it's fine. My family is gonna figure it out. Look, thanks for offering, though. I have to start packing. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, happy birthday. Thanks, Ted. If you ever need anything, let me know. Guess it's just me on my birthday. Well, it's not too late to get some food delivered. About time you showed up. It's been a week. Where have you been? Noah, it's none of your business, okay? I had important things to take care of. Important things? Maybe like uh, the promise that you made to me, Dad? Why don't you care? Of course I care, Noah. I have business to do. You see this house? You see all this stuff? Where do you think it comes from, bud? You always have pressing matters, Dad. You always have business. Why isn't your family a priority to you? I've given my life to give all of this to my family. Are you kidding me? What more do you need? Love! A real family! Maybe that's what I need, Dad. All this money can't replace things that are missing. You asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I've decided. I want you to buy my friend Ted's parents' house for them because they're about to lose what? it. What? No, absolutely not. Why would I do that? You have the means to make a difference. You have a watch that's more expensive than that house. Yeah, I know. It's nice, isn't it? I've got 15 of them. That kid's just using you for your money. I won't allow it. No, he's my only friend in this world, Dad. Make a new friend, bud, because uh, the answer is no. I won't entertain such ridiculous requests. Hey, to help a poor person person how absurd hey i heard your stupid friend ted's losing his house oh hilarious isn't it it's not funny lucas it's a terrible situation for ted and his family boo hoo maybe i should just buy it for fun and then bulldoze it that would be a blast you're a terrible person lucas i'm not your bad attitude's gonna catch up to you Y'all, yeah, this is Lucas Stilling. What do you want? Call about an exclusive party. Of course, count Telling me in. Telling your friends to call you so you seem popular? Cool move. Shut up, loser. Whatever. I'm going to go hang out with people who actually like me because I have real friends with money and homes. Those aren't your friends, Lucas. Their dads work for your dad. They just want to suck up to you. They don't care. You're just jealous. It's so insane. I really am going to buy your friend's house, by the way. And I'm going to tear it to the ground and watch your friend cry like a baby. Ha 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 ha. Whatever. Get out of here. And I can't let this happen to Ted. He deserves better than this. Lucas is the worst. Can't let him ruin Ted's life. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Jones. A pleasure to see you. What brings you in today? Look, I need to pay off a debt for a friend. I want to buy his house, but do I have enough money and stuff? Oh, uh, we'll find out, sir. I'm here to help you out. W what's the address you'd like to pay off? It's 21 Roblox Lane. And I'd like to pay it off in full, please. It says here that it's going to be uh, $200,000, sir. 200000 I might have that in my weekly allowance account. Can you check? You actually have around $10 million in that account, sir. So I guess it'll cover the whole payment. Cool. Let's do it. Thanks, man. And if, you know, you're feeling generous and all, you could consider treating a helpful bank teller to a new Lamborghini. Or no way. I'm here to help my friend. All right. Fine. You just made a payment of $200,000. Congratulations. Your friend's house is fine. Awesome. Thanks. Means a lot. You're welcome, sir. You know, it's nice to see a member of the Jones family actually using their money to help people. That doesn't happen often. I'm not like my parents. Let's just keep this between us, okay? Because they're going to get mad. Yes. No problem. <laughs> this will be our secret. All right, as soon as my dad calls, we'll crush the house down. Got it? Can't wait to tear this dumb thing down. Yeah, I don't care whatever you say, minimum wage loser. Just shut up. Lucas, are you out of your mind, man? You're too late, Noah. My dad is about to buy this place for me any second now. Yeah, well, he's not going to because I bought it myself. No, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. This property now belongs to me. Your bulldozer needs to leave immediately. Ugh, you stupid trillionaire. Well, this isn't over, Noah. You're going to regret getting in my way. Let's go, Gene. But we're not tearing this place down. Come on, I man. I said let's go, Gene. Hey, Ted, are you okay? No, not really. We had to move out, and now my family is stuck at this stupid motel. And this place sucks. The Wi-Fi here is awful. So what's up, Noah? What are you doing here? Look, I came to talk to you, but I need you to understand why I did what I just did. I bought your family's house. Now you don't have what to move. What the heck is wrong with you, what? Noah? Look, I thought you'd be happy. Happy that you can just justify giving away your money like it's nothing? No. I told you, I don't want your charity, dude. It's not charity, man. Plus, Lucas was going to bulldoze the house, and I didn't want him to treat you like that. You and your family needed help, and I could help you. What's wrong with you that? You just don't get it, do you? Everything's just given to you. You think money solves everything. I just wanted to help you out as a friend. A friend? Well, friends don't betray you each other's trust. I thought I told you to leave it alone, but you went ahead and did this anyway. I you'd be happy that your house didn't get bulldozed by that jerk. Well, I'm not happy, Noah. I don't need your money and I don't need your pity. Just go away. Noah! 
What's up, Dad? Why are you yelling? Why am I yelling? You spent all that money on that stupid poor people house? How dare you define me like that? That's a terrible business investment. That house sucks. It's my money, Dad, and my account. I can spend it however I want. You're always telling me to invest. I invested in a friend. I don't think that's a big deal. You've gone too far, Noah. You obviously are terrible at investing, too. I can't stand the way you act anymore. No son of mine is gonna just throw his money away to the poor. I don't even know who you are anymore. How would you know who I ever was? You're never home. I'm all Always alone. Stop whining. You're so ungrateful. You have everything in the world. Yeah, except for friends and family. Family should mean something, but ours is just money. You know what? Whatever. You can go make friends at your new school. School? What are you talking about? I've decided to send you away to boarding school in France to finish up schooling. Boarding school in France? I don't even speak French. Well, get learning, bud. Private jet's waiting for you right now. You're heading to France, and that's final. See you in a couple years. Maybe you can learn a new attitude. Hello? Hello, is anyone home? Noah, glad to have you back, son. Didn't realize you were coming back today. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I'm happy to see you. No, it was rough when I left, but now I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too, man. That was France. It's actually kind of cool. I learned a lot about art and culture and the beauty of the world. Oh, and there was this one time oh, I- Oh, fantastic, Noah. Excellent. Can't wait to hear all about it. Come by my office when you have a chance and we'll go through it all together. What do you mean, Dad? Your office? You always said that was off limits. It is, but I think it's time you join the family business now. You're an adult. You've gained valuable knowledge during your time away. You'll be working with me, Noah, and that's final. Oh, working with you? Really? Oh, okay. Never thought I'd see the day. Absolutely. I can show you a thing or two about being a trillionaire. And I think it's important for you to be part of the decision-making process. You'll have a voice in our business meeting, son, and... Oh, speaking of business, gotta go. Glad you're home. Oh, well, may not be exactly what I imagined, but maybe this time I get to spend some time with my dad. Wow, this is dad's office? Kinda cool. Hello, and welcome to Jones Enterprises. How can I... Oh. I didn't know you worked here. Yeah, my dad got me the job after I graduated. What are you doing in this building, loser? No dumb babies are allowed in here. Well, I work here now. It's my first day, just like you. Except I earned my position. Oh, please. You only have this job because your daddy's in charge. You're nothing but a spoiled trillionaire brat. You and I are more alike than you think. No, we're not, Lucas. Oh my gosh. Look, dude, it's time to move past our differences and focus on our responsibilities. You're just another rich kid living off your family's fortune. Maybe it's time you realize that people can change. Seems like you never will, though. Now, if you don't mind, I got a meeting with my father. Whatever. There's no way I'm gonna let this stupid punk walk in here and make more money than me. He's gonna steal my fortune. Or so he thinks. <laughs> he won't last long at this job. I'll make sure of it. All right, Dad said to meet with his client, not to be late. I can't believe I'm working for him, but you know what? I'm just happy we're spending time together. Oh, no, I can't control this. Ah! Ugh, ugh. Noah? Noah, can you hear me? Ted, is that you? <laughs> yeah, buddy, it's me. You took quite a hit back there. I think I'm all right, just a bit disoriented. Well, you were knocked out for a while. Doesn't seem like you have a concussion, though, so I think you're okay. I'm like, are you a firefighter now? Yeah, I'm a firefighter. I got the call there was an emergency. I've been doing this for a while now. Wow, that's great, dude. I'm happy for you. Look, Noah, I've been trying to get in touch with you for years, man. Yeah, man. After we got in that fight, same day, my dad sent me to boarding school. Long story, man. Sorry. Yeah, me too. We should catch up sometime. Fire in progress. All units respond. All units. Come on, let's go. Look, I, I gotta go. Duty calls, but I'm really glad you're okay. We'll, we'll catch up soon. I, I promise. I can't believe we're actually seeing each other again. I missed you a lot, dude. Yeah, I miss you too, man. It's great to be back in town. And uh, I want to apologize for everything back then. I was super emotional. I didn't realize how much you were actually doing for me and my family. I see it now, and I'm really sorry. It's all right, dude. I understand. It was complicated. I tried to apologize to you before, but I never heard back from you. I went to your house, and security chased me away. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, dude. Well, my dad took my phone and smashed it, and then I had to go get a new one, and I wasn't allowed to use it at the new school, so... Yeah, it was kind of stupid. I didn't really have a choice. I kind of just had to disappear. Your family got to keep the house, right? Yeah, we did. It's been really great for my mom and dad to not worry about one more bill. We're really grateful for you, Noah. Look, I want us to be friends again, man. I miss you. You're my best friend. Miss you too, man. It's all water under the bridge. So, look, dude, how's it been being a firefighter? It's been great, but recently we've had a big setback. The fire department's facing a big funding crisis and we might lose our jobs. It's a tough situation and it's gonna put a lot of lives in danger. Yeah, dude, that's not good. What's the town gonna do without firefighters? They're important. Exactly, but 
now that I'm thinking about it, do you think there's any way you could use your connections with all those rich, fancy people and get some charity for the department? Yeah, dude. I'll do my best. I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out. I asked you to do one thing, Noah, and you blew it. Dad, I'm sorry I blew that deal. I was in a really bad accident. Accident or not, Noah, you still should have shown up. I've closed deals with a broken leg and the flu. It's about getting things done no matter what. Well, I was unconscious for a while. I couldn't have gone to the meeting. Excuses, Noah, excuses. This should be a good lesson for you. No matter what happens, you find a way to make things happen. You got it? Actually, Dad, there's something else I wanted to talk to you about. I want to take some money and make an investment. Oh, now you're talking like a trillionaire. How much we talking? Couple a million. I, I have my own account now and I, I want to use that money to invest it, Dad. Well, son, you're starting to think like a true businessman and I'm proud of you for taking this step. Thanks, Dad. I, I really appreciate your support. I'll make sure to do the best with this opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, today's a big day for our community. We gathered here to express our deep gratitude for someone that showed tremendous generosity and made a significant impact on our fire department. I present to you folks, Noah Jones. He donated an incredible $5 million to our fire department. Wow. Noah, your donation really saved our fire department and our community. Well, it's the least I could do. Our firefighters risk their lives every day. It's an honor to support them. They're the true heroes. On behalf of the whole fire department and the community, I want to express our gratitude to you. Thanks, Chief. But it's not about me, but all of us coming together to make a difference. I encourage everyone to find ways, big or small, to support causes that matter to them. We can really create positive change, you know? That's true. Now, come on. We got some ribs smoking out back. Let's have a party. Ugh, rude. Way to just bulge in like that, Noah. Yeah, whatever, dude. Dad, you want to see me? Some investment you made, Noah. I stand by it. I believe in making a positive impact. Well, that was stupid. What an idiot you are. See, sir, I told you he was an idiot. Well, everyone's entitled to their opinion, Lucas. Normally, I would think giving away money is foolish. It's my money, not anyone else's. But Noah, you're the first person in this company to do something truly good. The press is loving it. That's what you got out of this? Yes, the Joneses family is back in the headlines again. You taught me something today. Perhaps it's time we consider helping others and giving back. It could benefit our company in ways we never expected. Oh, wow, kind of glad to hear you say that, Dad. I never thought I'd see the day. Sir, you, you can't be serious. All right, shut up, Lewis. It's Lucas, sir. No, Lucas is kind of stupid. I like Lewis better. Okay, well, anyway, maybe we should celebrate this newfound perspective. How about grabbing some dinner tonight? Oh, actually, I, I would love that, Dad. All right, come on. Hey, Lewis, the guy, uh, yeah, clear my schedule, all right? Me and my son are going out for dinner. Ugh, I can't believe no one would do that. He made me look like a total bozo. Maybe, just maybe, this little turn of events will divert some attention so I can continue my plans. <laughs> hey, Thomas, what happened here? Isn't this Lucas Sterling's new house? Yeah, I don't know, man. Someone set fire to this place. It's a shame. This house is insane. Well, it was insane. Well, has everyone been okay? Where did Lucas go? Yeah, he's fine. No one was home, not even the staff. Nothing serious, probably just some electrical stuff or something. Well, that's good. I'm gonna go look around, though. All right, be careful. The structure might not be stable yet. Yeah, yeah, I got this. Lucas's house burnt down? This doesn't make much sense. Oh, the computer. This didn't burn in the fire? That's kind of odd. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Lucas has been stealing money from the Joneses? Oh, that snot-nosed brat. Ugh! No one needs to know about this. Hey, Ted. Noah, dude, you're not gonna believe this. I can't believe this. I am so mad right now. I've been telling you for years Lucas was no good, Dad. I know, Noah. I should have listened to you. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, okay? It's all right, Dad. I'm just relieved that you finally see the truth now. <sighs> Noah, I realized something important. I've been focused on myself, and I've neglected what truly matters. Honey? No. My family. I've let you down. I'm truly sorry for that. Wow. Dad, thanks for saying that. It means a lot. I have to tell you something. Lucas has not only betrayed our trust, but has stolen a significant portion of our assets. Have you heard from him at all? The police are actively pursuing the case. They said they've assigned the best cops, and I got faith that they'll take care of it. Sorry our money was stolen, Dad. All right, son. It was an important lesson. It made me realize that without money, I'm not really much. And it got me kind of thinking about who I want to be. That's not the guy I want to be. I want to be a better dad, and I want to start caring more about this family. <laughs> this worked perfectly. Goodbye, stupid Joneses. Thanks for the money. <laughs> no more starbeams! Put your hams in the air so you under arrest, y'all. What? No, please, you can't. No. I was supposed to make the arrest. This isn't fair. 
Uh, this is my moment to shine. Pinkenberry, you never shines at all, y'all, okay? This be my moment. No, it's mine. No, I'm not going to jail. Pinkenberry, go, get him. Now he's running away. Stop. I hate running. You run so fast. Oh, oh no, my face. Yeah, see what happens when you call me fat idiot? All right, I have had it up to here, y'all. You under arrest, and that's final. Come on, idiot, you're going to jail. No!